So, morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever time span you're watching this. Welcome again to the Military Guna TV. And definitely, I gave you guys some breaking news just about an hour ago. And then now everything has cleared up. Literally, that news that I, I sent to you guys, it was from last night. Um, but guess what? Everything is now cleared up. Um, so I'm going to show you what's happening. Luckily, um, Bob Zegrage had to, had to step in um, to assist with what's happening. Big up Siobhan Givens. Thank you for coming in. Um, yeah, they, she had to assist with what's happening. So let's, let me go straight over to you guys. I won't waste any time. God, this won't be a long one. I won't waste any time on this one. I'm going to go straight to it. Not going to waste any time, people. Not going to waste any time. So I'm going to go straight to it. So uh, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I'm really, really hoping that you guys are having a good day. Um, and, la and lockdown is not taking a toll on you guys. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, so let me read the article. So, um, government intervenes in reggae boy visa issue. So, th this was early, late hours last night. Um, the Jamaican government was up late Monday night working overtime to advert the, deport the, the deportation of two members of the senior men's national team, the reggae boys who traveled to Costa Rica on Sunday ahead of Wednesday's third CONCACAF World Cup qualifier in that Central American America country, American country. Sports Minister Olivier Babsy Grange updated Radio Jamaica Sports on the matter concerning the veteran defender Kim Martax Lawrence and striker Norman Campbell shortly after 10 p.m., saying the government was working through diplomatic channels those diplomatic challenge, um, channels include Jamaica's emb ambassador in Mexico City and the Costa Rican ambassador in Kingston, who the minister explained have been communicating and working together to have the two players who unfortunately were found to meet to not meet the immigration requirements on arrival in the San Jose, um, Costa Rica, for them to receive shall this, um, dispens um, dispensation to be allowed entry. When contacted after nine, um, Dalton Wynn, General Secretary of the F Jamaican Football Federation, declined to provide details on the matter, only confirmed that the two players con um, concerned were still at the airport at that particular time. The rest of the Jamaican team have been lost their first two matches of the campaign to Mexico and Panama, arriving in Costa Rica via chartered flight on Monday after noon. So that's the good news, but that is the good news, people. Um, let me see if I could. That is the that is good. Oh, um, Perkins said my mic is distorting. Uh, I I I do apologize. I think that's maybe my internet being distorted. I don't know what's happening. I I, I do apologize. I, I do apologize, for, uh, Perkins. This is what li literally a uh, rush stream, actually. Um, so that's, that is the situation, people. Um, I do hope that this clarifies and clears up um, some of the doubts. Hopefully clears up some of the doubts that, 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 that is out there. Um, let me stop sharing. Maybe I need to start. Maybe I need to get a better mic. <laughs> maybe I need to get a better mic. Um, but I do apologize. So, um, based off that, people, um, the situation has now sorted out, and that is a good thing. The situation is now sorted. Um, so, Kemar Tax Lawrence and Norman Campbell is back into the team. And um, Perkins 305, um, please let me know if, 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 if it's still distorted or it's going good now. But the situation is now sorted, guys, and the players are are on their way on route well they, they, they i think they might might reach already um they might arrive in costa rica already so i'm i'm checking i'm checking the people i'm checking it I'm, i i don't know what the problem is i honestly don't know honestly don't know what the problem is let me know if you know uh yeah let, let me let me know please let me know if if, if it's all give, give me a thumbs up if the audio is good <laughs> so I'm so like Serpy. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if, if the audio is good now. 
give me a thumbs up, people. <laughs> um, I know that it's it's, it's it's the morning. I also have the morning voice and so. But people, the good thing is that um, the the the, the guy the guys got the the the. the Thank you for that. Um, so, so people are still saying what's happening to my voice. I I think that has to do with the mic. I, I do apologize. I apologize. So um, I won't make it any longer since the mic is not giving me um, what I require from it. Um, I won't make it any longer, people. And I'm going to try to see if I could um, sort it out. But people, thank you very much, everyone who come in and joined me this morning. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sorry about that. I really do apologize about the mic. Um, literally out of my control. I have no clue what happened. Um, but um, people, thank you very much again. Um, I'll not go any further. As you say, the mic is not working. So thank you, people. Um, military.